Hey there and welcome back to another must known video tutorial and today will be the topic of loops. If you're an advanced user then you can completely skip on that and if you just want to see it for the lols, well <laughs> here you go. But for everybody else this is rather a crash course. Of course um, there is a good video series from Sam Spade, link in the description below, you can check it out where he goes more into details. But here we're just gonna go quickly, 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 what loops are, how they are structured, what we can do with them, and then some practical applications very, very briefly, like boom, we will breeze through that in a few minutes. So if you wanna join me on this super important uh, mission here, then stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel? Of course! Alrighty, so the first thing, what are loops and how they're structured? So basically loops are things which are repeating all the time. You've got some instructions, some code which you want to repeat or go through and then iterate on that or whatever and therefore you loop it, you repeat it. That's pretty much it. That's the whole thing. For that, you got two parts, the condition part and then the instruction code part. So here, let's go into my favorite one, which is the repeat loop. I love that one. It's super easy, super great to do. And then you can actually do a lot of things. You can, for example, uh, I don't know, have some heart, which is this heart here. And then we would just draw it like one, two, three, four, five, or six times, whatever, depending how many heart, uh, HP you got left. That would be, for example, a practical application or just go through some stuff and then checking things, I don't know, some array has it a specific value, then add it to a DS list, whatever. There are tons of applications, but here let's keep it generic and easy. So once again, my favorite one, because it's easy. You just have the condition part, which is saying like, hey, 10 times do that. And here we just, well, updating the variable which is called candy and we're just going upwards with that so after that we would have 10 uh, as a value in count candy wow see and then we got the unlucky brothers and the ones which we never use because the do until so basically here we got the conditional part hey uh, if it's smaller than 20 yes and what we're going to do here have i don't know count our candy up but here little spoiler alert Maybe you already know that it's an infinite loop and <laughs> if you do it like this terrible idea because uh, once we are uh, not having a good condition where at some point it finishes so here it finishes after 10 then this thing loops forever and ever and ever and ever and ever this is not what we want to have because then the game is crashing so basically game hack is actually crashing so here little word of caution from my side so here bye bye the do loop sucks and then we got the next one while a lot of times used also so this the, one of the classics besides the well the for loop then you can yolo once again if you like and then because this is true this will repeat forever and ever once again crashing the whole system not what we want to do um a lot of times very useful but at some point you need to have a breakout condition so uh, the while loop because here it's just jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping and looping we don't want that and then the next the next one is the, one of the classics the for loop which way we have three parts in the condition first of all a variable which we have to define set it at zero then we're just saying like hey while it's smaller than 20 sweet condition is met then let's go into that part and then because we don't want to loop it forever we just say like hey Let's add the i up and then at 20 times point where we uh, well uh, added some candy, then boom, we just say like, okay, we got enough of that stuff already here and then get out of here. And then of course, one of the few things where you just say like, where you can actually break out and the break statement is, for example, if, I don't know, count candy has reached I don't know, bigger than five, then we can actually say break. And this would actually break the loop prematurely. So this little variable, just say like, hey, we are, I don't know, at loop five, or six or whatever, or seven. And at some point we just give it an extra internal condition, like say, like, mm, 
um, if you reach something like hey dude we don't want to repeat it and then we would break out of it so this is how you can break out of the loop there's con continue we're gonna skip on that because i don't find it terribly important Alrighty, so a little word of warning once again from my side please don't do uh, well loops which run for infinity because once again uh, no game will take place because this is how uh, programming is working it's working sequential so this is the first line then the second line third and so on and then once we do this we would be stuck in these uh, brackets all the time because it's an infinite loop and then we would never get and reach the bottom part because hey infinity is not what we want to have in our game now let's go to some more um, hopefully interesting parts so let's say we have uh, our game here and then what we can do here and then hopefully you already know how that works so i would just use my for loop not for loop my repeat loop and then i want to draw my hard pieces so how can i do this kind of super easy so here i just have a repeat loop and five times i've repeated or six times for example here you could have a variable of how much uh, hp you have left and then we just say like hey draw our sprite to our x and y position let's get rid of that and then we have a little variable aa which we update all the time so this is the thing which is then kind of changing the internal structure here and then we just apply it to our thing and then we got our first loop then aa starts with one so plus 30 and then the next one is plus 60 90 and so on and this is how we can use it for drawing ui elements of course just not for hard pieces for ammunition um, whole ui structures tons of things which you can do this is a common practice then the next thing which we can use it for is for random roles so here uh, you can see it's not gonna dwell on that so basically you could have a repeat loop and then break out of the repeat loop until you hit a critical hit so this is how you could do this gonna dwell on that pause pause the video if you want to see it or if you want to go a little bit more into depth this is a very advanced coding what you're seeing right now very efficient by the way not easy to read so this is how you could do that also with a repeat loop looping through different kind of weapons having index positions and then you could actually do something add it to a stack or actually check out but once again very fish code <laughs> very <laughs> difficult to uh, show off in the video so therefore you can just dwell on that like ah, oh, that can be interesting yes it could be because from here this is how you can structure a lot of things all right that was it from my side hopefully not too difficult to understand so once again loops conditional part and the code part so these are the two parts on which all those loops operate and then which is looping all the time word of caution please don't do infinity loops so you don't yolo all the time with that please don't do it because once again it will crash and then you have to go uh, control alt and uh, delete to <laughs> get rid of the, out of that because uh, yeah game maker won't allow you with that so that was it from my side hopefully you enjoyed this and once again if you want to go a little bit more in depth sam spades link in the description below uh, where you can check out more in detail if you like that was it from my side have a good one one up indie